good Wednesday morning, everybody, live and direct on Google+, Plus, YouTube, on Periscope, and also on Twitter. I mean, you're all just Austinonic, live and direct just before 3 o'clock on Wednesday morning with a quick weather update. This is Weather Overtime, available on all these various social media networks in about the next hour or so. We're monitoring weather overnight in the Mid-South. That's West Tennessee, Northern Mississippi, and back into Eastern Arkansas. For those of you not familiar with this area, News Channel 3 broadcast casting from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, and as of right now, things are decently quiet where we are located, but we are monitoring back to the west of us for this evening, back to around areas uh, west of Little Rock into around areas of northern Arkansas at this time. Again, we've got some strong thunderstorms moving right along and on either side of I-40. It looks like most of this activity is going to be going basically back to the north of the Mid-South area, maybe just scraping very close to around uh, the area near Jonesboro within about the next hour or so. And the National Weather Service is considering issuing a, another tornado watch for the Mid-South. They put out a what's called a mesoscale discussion, just sort of a distant early warning, if you will, for the possibility of anything involving uh, new thunderstorm activity out there. Now, so far we haven't heard anything as of about 2.32 early this morning, but if anything does happen, we're monitoring National Weather Service uh, chat room back here on this computer monitor. So if anything does happen, uh, we'll let you know about that before this netcast is over with. Currently, again, most of the lightning taking place into and around areas of central Arkansas, south of Harrison, and north of the Conway area. That, again, should miss most of the Mid-South, but more thunderstorms could be possible as we go into about rush hour tomorrow morning, uh, again, as this storm system continues to head on through the Mid-South area. Let's take a look at what's going on with the Almanac precipitation. Apparently, we're having some uh, difficulty with the data there. Sorry about that. And also, again, high temperatures where we should be for this time of the year in the upper 50s, lower 40s for the temperatures. Also should mention, if you haven't seen it yet, again, the forecast information down here at the lower section of your screen. We'll be looking for more chances of thunderstorms into tomorrow. And tomorrow afternoon and evening, temperatures again dropping a bit with those winds coming out of the west, northwest. Through the rest of the afternoon and into this evening, we're going to be seeing again the possibility of these thunderstorms uh, coming up in a line as we get into around the 7 o'clock hour, and that's where we see the possibility of problems for anybody heading out the door for uh, commute time to anywhere around school or getting ready for work, anything like that. Most of the line, again, developing into around areas of Dyersburg, northwest Tennessee, back into eastern Arkansas, just to the west and northwest of the metro area through about 7 o'clock this morning, traipsing through the metro area by the time we hit about News Channel 3 live at 9, and then mainly out of the Mid-South, heading on over to the east of us by the time we work our way to around News Channel 3 at noon. It'll still be on the mild side. Notice the winds ahead of this next front coming in out of the northwest. And then as this front continues to move on through, the white lines on screen start turning around and we start seeing the possibility of some cooler conditions. Not immediately, but we do get at least some areas of cool conditions out there as this next front comes on through. So temperatures by about 4 o'clock Wednesday may Maybe a little bit cooler back into around the mid to upper 50s to lower 60s or so. And winds could be a little breezy at about maybe 10 to 20 miles per hour today and into the rest of the afternoon and evening. Clearing skies out as we go toward the rest of Wednesday afternoon. So what's left of the thunderstorm should be a morning phenomenon and then gone throughout the rest of the day. And by midnight, temperatures will be much cooler than what they have been uh, right now. Notice the temperatures right now here in the News Channel 3 backyard. 72 degrees, southerly winds at 21 miles per hour. Meanwhile, on the maps at this point in time, we're looking at temperatures by about this time tomorrow morning back in the lower to mid 40s across much of the area. So again, a pretty chilly start to Thursday morning. So when the kids head off to the school bus and by the time Todd Demers is on the air with daybreak on Thursday, we may be looking at some wind chills out there down into the lower 30s. So that could be just a bit of a problem as we get into Thursday morning early. So definitely want to stay tuned to News Channel 3 for more on that. School day forecast as the kids head out the door for the school bus, probably going to need the umbrella then, and maybe if they're going out to recess for those schools that still have stuff like that. Temperatures will be still on the mild side.
out there. But notice as we go throughout the course of the rest of the day, we'll be looking again at clearing skies out there. Chances of rain really start to knock off as we head throughout morning. And right after the first bell rings, we should see a lingering thunderstorm mainly across northeastern Mississippi. Beyond that, there's really just not that much going on out there. And by the time we work our way to about uh, dismissal time, that's where we see again mostly sunny skies out there and winds turning solidly around back to the northwest at about 10 to 20 miles per hour. So maybe a little bit on the cooler side out across much of the Mid-South as we wrap things up there. If you've never been in the Mid-South before and have not experienced severe weather, this is where you want to go to. Uh, the possibility of again getting any severe weather out there, you want to know ahead of time what's happening and these are the places you want to go to. There are Skywarn training from the National Weather Service. They're free. They're paid for by your and my tax dollars and a good opportunity to learn more about them. These are the next five meetings. The next one coming up tomorrow, Thursday, March 2nd in Tiptonville, Tennessee. Next one after that will be next Monday in Pocahontas, Arkansas. Tuesday, March 7th in Clarksdale, Mississippi. Next next Saturday in Jonesboro, Arkansas at 505 East Washington Avenue at St. Bernard's Auditorium. And after that, the next Monday coming up in about two weeks, Monday the 13th on the, uh, about 6.30 p.m. on Monday the 13th at Tunica at the fire department, 909 River Road. About last about two hours or so, great opportunity to learn more about severe weather, ask questions of the meteorologists and personnel at the National Weather Service, and a great opportunity to get kids, maybe about as young as eight or nine, if they're interested in weather, gives them a little bit more control over what is feels to be an uncontrollable situation. So again, that's a good opportunity to learn more about severe weather. If you'd like to know more, go to the National Weather Service website in Memphis, go to weather.gov, or go to wreg.com slash weather, and all the graphics and information will be listed there. Also follow along on my social media web pages, all kinds of information listed there and we'll keep you updated on that. Also available on my radio forecast as well. That'll be on the weekends on Country 92.5, Oldies 102.3, and don't forget we'll have more for you coming up bright and early on the Memphis AM radio show, and also on Talk Back Live. That'll be Monday through Friday, 7 to 9 a.m. with Bob, Josh, and C. Austin on AM 730 Yahoo Sports Radio, and a great opportunity for you to learn more about what's going on with the forecast, of course, with Todd Demers coming up in just a few hours on News Channel 3 daybreak. Once again, we are waiting to see, as of this time, as of about 2.38 a.m., whether or not the National Weather Service and the Storm Prediction Center is going to be issuing a new uh, tornado watch for the area so far it has not happened. It could be happening at just about any time, so we may have a new watch underway relatively soon. If that happens, keep it tuned to News Channel 3 on air and online. We'll keep you updated on that for the potential of severe weather coming on through. And of course, stay tuned for News Channel 3's Todd Demers forecast. His uh, updates coming up throughout the course of the rest of the morning on News Channel 3. We'll keep you updated on all of that. Again, if severe weather breaks out, we will break in and let you know about what's going on across much of the Mid-South as uh, much as we possibly can. This is the time to get ready for severe weather ahead of time. Know what to do. Have your plans in place. Get your cell phone charged. Uh, get your uh, weather radio complete with batteries. Keep it tuned to News Channel 3 as much as possible, but always have an alternate way to get your severe weather information so you can stay ahead of what's going on out there. So that's a good opportunity to make sure that you stay safe in weather like this. And of course, stay tuned for more coming up at WREG.com slash weather. I'm Meteorology Meteorologist Austin Ogg. This has been a late night, early morning, Wednesday morning update addition to our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. And we'll have a lot more coming up throughout the rest of the morning on News Channel 3 Daybreak, starting bright and early in about two hours at 4.30. And more details to follow at WREG.com slash weather. Thanks for joining us for a quick weather update of our video weather blog, Weather Overtime, and a lot more weather information coming up throughout the rest of the morning on News Channel 3. Stay tuned.